Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Okay, following on from the last video, what, about, what I wanted to do was make uh, besieged battle bots um, from the automatron and sensor, ones that would be completely autonomous, fight themselves, fire their own weapons, and just as importantly, make their way around an, an arena and uh, negotiate each other as well. So as you can see here, I've gotten that far. The, the two bases actually can get out of each other's way, or well, you'll see in a minute that they actually do that, yeah. Next move after that was to put some weapons on them, just really basic ones, apart from the one with a cannon, so I stuck with that, as you'll find out later. But I put these saws on the other one and a push rod on one side, um, activated by the sensors to try and keep it away so that the wheels didn't get snagged up. Um, so that worked, I mean, it was every step I took, I learned something else, learned a little bit more about it, so yeah, it was looking good. As you, as you can see, it wasn't quite effective. Yeah, the saws are not doing much. Okay, so moving it up a little bit more, I swapped out. I put on some scatter cannons and some uh, bigger cannons on the side. So one's got a revolving turret, another one's got um, fixed sensors, so it's got to come up against it and uh, do broadsides or whatever, and the other one's got a revolving sensor. And I thought I would just stick with that. So here they are in their finished form. Uh, or well, finish for today anyway, I'm going to further develop them, get rid of these firing weapons and go for uh, grapples and arms and flippers and all those other things. But for now I thought ballistic weapons is good enough because it's certainly a lot of fun as you can see. Uh, they just go mental, especially if it starts shooting through one of its own sensors then it doesn't stop. And it even takes out the, the monument there. So this was all great but I thought let's take them somewhere else where they've got a little bit of an audience and it's another threat coming in. Uh, you will go to Queens and that way you can see that the, the arrows will come in and start weakening them and all the little guys, which are hilarious, they get a free ticket and they just stand about. Now they actually get picked up on the sensors now because the steering sensor goes just above it, uh, just on the wood, but the other sensors are just above it, so anything that's above it sets them off. So every now and again they get it right in the face, but uh, that was good fun. As you can see, there's a, there was a few good battles here, there really was. Um, they're knocking lumps out of each other. And a lot. The next, let's see the next one. I've got to start putting in mechanical grabbers and, and more robotic type things rather than uh, firearms. If you've got any ideas, let me know. Also, if you haven't haven't subscribed, please subscribe. There's lots of more amazing stuff coming up, and we're going to be doing streaming and trying out new games and all sorts of things. So please subscribe. Really appreciate it if you do. And if not, at least give me a like. Just give me a like up. Anyway, so where are we? Okay. So I thought what we'll do is we'll just quickly switch all the trigger visibilities back on again so that you can see them and that'll give you an idea of what's going on as they spin around and move around and um, what triggers what, yeah. That one, that blue one always gets stuck at the side a little bit. I just left it because it let the red one catch up with it but it always frees itself and it pretty much always wins as well because its main weapon on the front there are two short fuse rockets that get set off by a, a near a near front proximity sensor and when they go off there's just there's absolutely nothing that it can do about it it destroys the other machine on the spot the other machine does it does have uh, rockets on it but it needs to fire from the other side and it very rarely got the sensor into view plus its sensor was triggered by another one so it's all very complicated but not really there you go it going off again so we'll just spin it around this one time, one more, one more time, and you see you're trying to escape there and those rockets got him in the ass again. Um, let's say one more time and then we will take it to the Midlands. And this, the game here was the same as before, you've got an outside threat but it's far greater because if these guys get through the perimeter, they'll take you apart before you can fight with your, with your um, opponent. And that's exactly what happened on the first one. They didn't even get anywhere near each other. And the little guys were in there. And then just hacking off the wheels. They're just amazing. I just love them. So I'll put on an extra line of defences to give the fighters a couple of... Just a wee bit of an advantage. A time to try and knock each other out before these little swines get through the defences. And then start hacking them to pieces. So um, that, this made for the best fight of all. This was great fun. Because the threats are coming in in all directions. Taking each other out. Uh, there's rockets, cannons going off, everything. And, um, but always those little guys got through. And if you hadn't finished up the opponent down quick, then it was cur curtains for you. But they, they paid the price as well. Anyway, so that's it. Um, this was just a quick follow up to the last video. Um, I've got a lot more planned. I'm definitely going to develop these guys and the racing ones as well. 
Uh, I need to build a track for them, but that should be too, shouldn't be too easy. And of course, there'll be scrap mechanic coming up as well, and all the streams. In the future, I'll put a notice up when I'm going to do a stream. I'll put a quick notice up on the YouTube channel so that you can uh, come across and have a look, see what we're doing, take part, and have a bit of a giggle on that one as well. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.